As of March 8th, 2020, I have officially been off work. Sitting at home, watching the days by faster and faster, and I'm not okay with letting my life slip out of my hands without having something to say about it. Recently, I've had a feeling of untapped potential, wasted time, like the creative juices inside of me are screaming, let me out. Now, if you've been following my work, you may have heard about a recent project I picked up and have been started to develop an online community-based multiplayer game, a monumentally-sized game, because I figured I had the time to, so here's where it's at. It's pushing my knowledge, drying me up, and I keep pushing forwards anyways, for one reason. Fear of not finishing. The number one piece of advice for game devs is finish. In fact, the number one piece of advice for probably anyone working in the creative field is finish. Cut your game idea in half. Then cut it in half again. Make it small enough so the top is in sight and you don't get demoralized. Remember, every small hill you conquer makes you stronger for the next hill. Maybe one day you'll truly be ready to make your dream game, and by then you'll be strong and wise enough to see it to the end. Done is better than perfect. And I loved that quote because I was like, wow, that is that is 100% true because art is subjective. So what's perfect to you will probably not be perfect to someone else, which doesn't mean you shouldn't put all of your effort into something, but it means that sometimes it's better to just get something done than spend so much time trying to make it perfect. Yet all of my projects end up here, unfinished, incomplete, too complex, boring, I was tired, too much grindy work, too repetitive, too big of a project. Quarantine has killed my productivity, but it's bigger than that. Yes Theory says it like this. Time is the most valuable resource we possess, so it's so important that we pay attention to how much of our lives we trade for the various activities we allow to claim it. One of the members chose to spend a month off social media and said it changed his life. I figured, that's an awesome idea. I could totally do that. But that's because I don't really struggle with spending too much time on my phone. And I don't struggle with spending too much time on Netflix. No. I spend too much time on my computer, watching YouTube. My sister challenged me, if you really want to make a difference, go a month without YouTube. I died a little, but I'm done with watching my life waste away. Thus, hello June. I welcome a new month with open arms. Last month may have possibly been the fastest May of my life and it's the only time I'll ever get to live May 2020. But this month, I won't let that happen. June is usually a pretty busy month, but being off work and graduated, I seem to have lots of time. I'll spend my time living my life to its fullest potential instead of wasting away watching YouTube. So I've set myself some goals. 30 minutes of exercise every day. Journal one page every day. Read one chapter or 20 minutes of my book. Read one chapter of the Bible. Do morning devotions and evening devotions. Never have a 0% day for my video game. Practice piano, 20 minutes a day even. And the biggest one, no YouTube. Beyond that, I want to strive for some bigger creative goals. Right away, Sundays are off the schedule for live stream production with my church. Wednesdays I intern and have game dev meet up in the evening. And I'm away from the 12th to the 15th. Most likely I'll have events on days similar to these ones. So that gives me this much time. So first, if I produce four YouTube videos a month, I can produce one on every available Monday. And if I set a goal to produce a smaller video game this month, I could release it on the 30th. That gives myself 11 available full days to develop a game, with one goal in mind. Finish. 
June shall not go by wasted, and you can keep me accountable on that. But that's all from me, friends. I'm Aitromo, keep creating, and enjoy the ride.